they had to hold on to their tickets. So, again, let's discuss pop culture for just a minute. NBC Universal has reached a deal with AMC Theaters. Now, AMC Theaters is the biggest theater chain in the country. That is a massive, massive thing. And earlier, this uh, this pandemic, whatever, when Universal decided to release Trolls World Tour to pay-per-view at home only, AMC banned Universal movies from being shown at their theaters. Obviously, AMC theaters haven't been open since then. Universal's still kind of been shut down. Every movie release has been pushed back. Who knows when we're going to get back into theaters, all that kind of stuff, right? When that happened, NBC Universal decided, hey, we made a ton of money by letting people watch this Trolls movie at home for 20 bucks. You know, it's just a one-time rental, whatever thing, for you to sit down with your family and watch it. Now, if you think about it from the perspective of a family, right? Trolls, you're going to attract a ton of kids. So if you got two parents and two kids that are going to the theater, then you have, let's say, 12 bucks, 13 bucks per parent. So that's 26 bucks for the parents. And then you've got 10 bucks for the kids. So that's another 20 bucks. So that's over $45 right there, just in tickets. If you can get away from the concession stand for less than 20, that's a miracle. So along with the time that it takes to drive there, or if you don't bring the kids and you want to get a babysitter, whatever, you're looking at a $100 night just to go to the movies. So if you can sit and rent a movie for 20 bucks at home, obviously you're doing well. Now, the most of the stuff that costs that much is not going back to the studio. NBC Universal was not going to make but about 10% of the money that you spend at the movie theater. AMC is making the rest of that. Uh, let's jump in here to the chat. Uh, Michael said, people being paid is great, but also a lot of people with no money to lose. Yeah, no, that's that's uh, 100% true. Matt said, I miss going to the theater and paying $15 for a ticket and then $25 for a small popcorn and water. Uh, I will say this. I like going to the theater, but I also like uh, sitting at home. I, I have more time to do that. I got a two-year-old. I mean, good gracious. And I can't afford to, to go out all the time. So Michael said, uh, I've been loving being able to stay home and rent these movies. Hell, the theater in our area started checking bags for outside snacks. Oh, yeah, don't forget that. Uh, Matt said, I can watch movies at home with no pants on. Uh, Joseph said, when did it hit $12 for a Coke? Michael said, I do miss going and catching matinee movies, though. Uh, here's the deal. Like, big-time movies, like these monster movies, Godzilla and Jurassic Park and Star Wars and whatever, those are meant to be seen on the big screen. And that's why NBC, Universal, and AMC have done this deal. This deal is a 17-day exclusive window. Now, it used to be 90 days. That was three months before they could release it to a streaming service or put it out for rent or allow it for sale, etc. That is an insane amount of time. Three months is a long time to wait for a movie. I got used to doing it. <laughs> I mean, my wife and I, we will wait for a movie to come back on at, uh, at the house before we actually watch anything because we don't have time on Fridays or Saturdays or whenever to go out to the movies for however long it takes. I mean, it's a 20-minute drive to the theater, and then you've got a two-hour movie, and then it's 20 minutes back, and then we got to find a, a babysitter, and we got to find da-da-da-da-da, and then it costs them. It's just a, a disaster. With a 17-day exclusive window, you can get the people in that want to see it right then. You can get the people in even after that because they can continue running these movies. It's not an exclusivity. Thing. It's, not, it's not 17 days, and then they stop. It is, they can keep running it, and then people that want to watch it at home can watch it, or people that want to go to the theaters can watch it. That's not that big of a deal. I think it's incredibly genius by both sides to say, okay, AMC on this side, we're going to allow movies from Universal because they are a massive franchise-generating studio. Jurassic World 3 is coming out next year. Uh, Fast and the Furious is one of their things. I mean, they've got a ton of them, right? You don't want to stop showing those movies because then you're going to lose out on the crowds that want to go see those movies. So, you work out this deal, 17 days, that's not even three weeks. That is not that big of a deal. If a movie comes out on Friday, it'll be available in two weeks on the next Monday. I'm totally fine with that. I think that's great. That gives you basically three weekends to get that thing in. 
and I think it's awesome. So, uh, Michael said, movie theaters got smart, and now they rip us off on alcohol prices, too. Uh, yeah, for the ones that actually do serve alcohol. There's a lot down here that don't. Uh, Matt said, getting a bag of Coke from the guy on the corner is cheaper than Coke in a theater. Uh, Damien said, I would do anything to go back to a movie theater uh, or anywhere as long as I'm away from the Roku, damn it. Uh, Joseph said, similar to Disney speeding up the Mandalorian so Disney could get the subs on their app. Yes, 100%. I mean, that's, that's what this is. So, I, uh, I like the idea. Now, obviously, when this first starts, you are going to see massive pay-per-view prices because they know how much it costs to go out and take a family to the theater. It, what they did for Trolls was 20 bucks. How far can... Universal push it. I mean, we're talking forty bucks for a movie, uh, fifty bucks. I mean, will they will they push it that high for a, a pay per view showing? I mean, we'll see. Uh, Jose said King Kong versus Godzilla. Can't wait. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I've been waiting for that one for a while. My wife thinks I'm insane uh, because she she doesn't like the monster.